everybody, it's Christina and Jamie from Beautiful, Beautiful Disaster, Disaster Clothing. Yes, and we have a special edition of our YouTube channel just for you today. It is Jamie's Cutting Closet. <laughs> well, cut you know it how out. much, I mean, if you know me, I love to cut my hoods off the hoodies. I love to wear an off the shoulder. Um, if something's too small for me, I like to cut it, make it bigger. If it's hot or summer. Yeah, summer's coming. So yeah. maybe you're like, you know what? I need a ventilation in the back of my seat. Yeah. And here's the great news. You should have no problem picking out a perfectly imperfect item from your closet yes. and cutting it up. Because why, Jamie? They're on clearance. We just put them on clearance. So we have our tees and yep. our racer back tanks and our pullover hoodies all on clearance. All on clearance, major, major discount. Yes, the tees are only $12.49 and the racers are $15.49 and the hoodies $29.49, which is like 49. almost half the price of our normal hoodies. Yes. So it's a huge deal. So why would we be putting perfectly imperfect on clearance? Oh, I don't know. Maybe something we posted on Instagram had an itty bitty teaser in the bottom right mm. corner of an event we're having this week. Hmm, I know there's know. something coming around the corner. Anyway, so grab your clearance tees or any tee or tank that's in your closet or a pullover hoodie that you have, and let's get cutting. Okay, she's good at this. I'm not, so she's going to be like the one on Instagram, and then you're like Instagram fail. So I'm the Instagram fail, but I'm going to try really hard to follow along. Okay, so first, starting with a t-shirt, we're going to start with our tee. Start and with our tee. You let's put, let's put our. We're going to need more room. Our other goodies. Yeah. Let's stick these down. Here. Okay. Okay. First, well, first you're gonna need a t-shirt and scissors. We just grab like household scissors. I think these are up and up from Target. Love you, Target. But they need to be sharp. And these are just like Office Depot. What are we doing? What are we making? We're just going to create a slash back Ooh. wide neck tee. Okay. So we're gonna get a little off the shoulder action and a little ventilation and sexiness down the back. Ooh, honey. And maybe a slash there shoulder is an addition you could add if you like that. Um, I'm cutting one of our curvy 1X tees. I'm cutting a large. Because I, this is the size I wear. Okay, me too. <laughs> okay, so first, grab your scissors. And I like to push the Oh, this makes sure me so nervous. A little forward just so I've got room to cut. Okay, what are we cutting first, Jane? First, we're going to cut the collar. We're going to cut right on the outside edge of the collar, but it's kind of a two-step process. Go. So step one is about a thumb a thumb size from the seam over. You're gonna make a tiny little notch, it's tiny, <laughs> like just enough to get your scissors in. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, about a thumbprint over and a little teeny slice. Little teeny slice. Yep. Okay. Got it. Then you're gonna kind of open up your slice so you can see your finger where to guide your scissors in. Open up my slice, and you're gonna stick your scissors in just the top. The front side of the shirt. Got it. Not all the way through. And we're going to cut Great along. Because I would have gone all the way through. You don't want to cut the back the same as the front. So cut along oh. with about a quarter to a half inch. You can go a little scoopier if you want more off the shoulders. Okay, okay. And then you want to meet to that point where you cut your guide earlier. And then you end up with your collar just kind of cut out. Look at that. Flip it around. And then the back side is super easy. You just want to take your scissors and cut right up against the top edge of the back seam behind your neck. So you kind of use your guide that you started and it's almost like a straight cut. And this will help keep the shirt on your body, believe it or not. And then a choker, a choker or a headband. Yeah, headband. So you can rock a headband. Yeah. I okay. It, I love it. So with the collars, you guys. Wait, what? I mean, there's just so much you can do with the disaster clothing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I just set that aside. And with the collar, after I cut it, I, I like already to... messed up. But that's okay. No, yours is fine. It's perfectly imperfect. True. I like to kind of stretch it and run my finger around. So it curls on the yeah, edge? Yeah, yeah. The whole edge that you just cut. So it kind of gives it a nice, uh, a nice like worn, not freshly chopped. Yeah, a nice worn. And after you wash it, it gets even better. Okay, that's just how it is. Okay, so now for the back, we're gonna do a slash back. Oh dear. So turn your now shirt over fancy. and lay it flat. And you basically want to grab what looks like the middle of the back of the neck where we cut, 
and the middle of the bottom of the shirt and you want to lift it up. Ta-da! And then you're going to lay that folded side towards you. Okay, okay. So it's only the back layer of the shirt. We're not going to be cutting the front unless you want to. How did it. you learn to do all this? Um, a lot of trial and error of like thrift store shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Growing up, I used to go buy like the little $2 shirts down at the thrift stores and... I don't know about you guys, but I pay extra money for this type of stuff <laughs> and now I don't have to because if I actually know how to do it, I can yeah. save myself some money. And you can watch this over and over again and learn. Yes, press pause. So Rewind. the slashback shape we're going to make is kind of like a triangle of slashes that go down your back. Okay. So the side that's closest to the neck, which I'm over here. I'm over and here. And you're over here. Okay. So our first cuts are going to be long and our last cuts are going to be short. Okay. And our cuts, we want them to be about a finger-ish apart. And straight. And straight. Very straight okay. with your edge. I'm ready. So we're going to start about three fingers down from the top where we cut. Okay. And let me cut first. Okay, go. So you can see how far I go. I don't want to cut you off. And you're going to just start cutting. And remember, it's folded in half, so your so that's a pretty good size cut. Your slash is actually going to be twice like that long. Four so it's like a palm. I don't use measuring tapes; I just use my hands. Yeah, so it's about four inches. That's what she said. And then that'll create like an eight-inch like gash on the back. Ooh. Okay, so it's really easy to measure because you can just kind of pinch it with your thumb and finger. Okay, and then you just cut another really straight line, but this one's going to be shorter. So you, oh, mine are kind of fat. Mine's a little crooked, but that's okay. I'm going to go a little fatter and a little straighter. Fat, crooked, so straight. So just we don't keep discriminate. cutting <laughs> and keep cutting. But a shorter, little, shorter, shorter. A little less. See, she goes with the whole one slice. Uh, one slice and done. My scissors aren't as sharp, so I'm just kind of inching through. Plus, I'm uber impatient, and I just <laughs> whip through things, and that's. Sometimes great, sometimes So, not great. Christy ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going a little, little baby one. I'm going, bam. <laughs> I'm going like a little uh, longer down oh. and less of a staircase. So, instead of like. So, Jamie, let me ask you this. If I went short, longer, longer, longer. Oh, yeah, you can do I an hourglass. Like... Do you want to try an hourglass? Look at me being innovative. There you go. You can Let's do any it. shape you want. You can cut the same length all the way down you can make a triangle shape oh dear things are getting tricky i mean you can really get creative and it's really easy i mean you just literally fold it back in half and start cutting and i'm hot well, so i'm gonna take my sweatshirt off because we're about to try on this shirt close your eyes kids we got we got camis about to be revealed so that's it? We're trying them on now? Well, first we want to zhuzh all of the the cuts. So take your shirt and kind of lay it out like this Ooh, and give it this. a stretch. So you want to stretch it out. Oh, look how neat. Oh. And I'll show you guys the back. It gives this really Ooh. cool triangle. Yeah, and hers is an hourglass. Look at this. So you, you, at this, get, you do a nice little stretch out and it makes these really cool like cut marks. Anyways, and then just okay, throw the shirt I did on. something wrong over here. Let well, me tell it's because you. you cut too deep when I said itty bitty starting cuts. But you can cut these edges off here. Let's see, I don't listen to instructions very well. Just a little bit of a fixer at the end. And now her little pokies are gone. Okay, let's. It's time for the big reveal. Time for the big reveal. Try not to put your head through the holes that you just cut in the back. Right, or your arm. <laughs> then you'll stretch them out, and they might. Uh, Okay, so as you can see, it's off the shoulder. It's got Cute. this strappy look. And then the back, how's my back? Oh look? my gosh, that's amazing. Is that cute? And yeah, how's mine? Oh, it's amazing. Is it so cute? Yeah, it's super cute. And if, if she didn't have a tank on under. Yeah, yeah, pull this down. Oh yeah, so you can see like how fun this, just a peekaboo. So it's just a great way to take an old shirt or a clearance perf tee and make it cute. So cute. Okay, let's Stop do. Stop all done. Don't let me hang out. Oh, yes. Amazing. So let's do What's next. Let's do the tank top next. This is so cute. Because I'm guys. too hot to cut the hoodie. Yeah, this is super cute. Adorable. Yeah. So it's just okay, the collar and the back, and you have a brand new tee, and you can wear it 
Jamie, what are we going to do with the tank top? So with the tank top, I mean, there's so many things you can do, but we only have time for a few things. Okay. So for the tank, I think we should do like a little mini version of a crop fringe mm. racer back. Okay. So what we're going to do, cut the crap out of the bottom, is we're going to cut the crap out of the bottom <laughs> for sure. And you guys, these are normally like $26 or $27 and they're on sale for $15. So it's a really great deal. Yes. Um, or just grab an old racer back. I mean, if you've got a huge stain on the bottom of your shirt that you can't get out, this is a perfect cut to like hide some things, hide some things, get rid of some things. If your bleach pen didn't work, girl, this is your cut. If you got tied to go, let you down. So where's my scissors? Oh, right here. Thank you. So you want to start with the shirt this way. Which, we're going to cut the bottom off, so turn it whichever way you're comfortable oh. cutting. Okay. Well, you're a lefty and I'm a righty, so things get a little And congested. we're only going to cut a little bit off the bottom. We're not going to cut very much. So okay. I would start with like two inches, but if you like a super crop and you want your fringe to start right under the boob area, mm -hmm. you can go shorter, but I'm going to go a little bit more conservative. More conservative. So I'm just going to literally cut like an inch and a half off. And you just cut it all the way across. Oh dear. And since it's going to be fringe, if you're uneven on your cut, yeah, it's still super cute. Don't matter. Okay, just side note, if you have a tank or a shirt that's too big on you, or if all your sizes were sold out on our clearance section and you're like, all they have is XL or 2X and I'm a medium, keep the bottom oh. because you could literally take the back and corset it, which we'll show you another time. But you literally just make a bunch of holes. Oh, and lace it in, and this is your lace. So amazing. So, okay, back to the wow. fringe. Wow, okay, back to so the fringe. So you're gonna put the shirt facing you. All right. And the same thing, oh, if there's a tag inside your shirt, you'll there probably is. wanna cut it out because that's gonna get in your way. All right. So give that a little snip out. Bye bye, little tag. See you later. And then we just want to start fringing. These are so soft. This is going to fringe really well. Yeah. And again, same size. We want to do about a thumbprint size. And I'm going to go like all the way up like the height of scissors. I'm going to cut like seven, eight inches up from the bottom. Okay. Do we start in the middle or does it matter? I start on the side. Okay. Because then you're going to get an even cut. And you go all the way through front and back. And you go, oh, you want to make sure you're seam to seam. Oh. So find your side seams with your thumbs because then you're going to get more of an even cut. All right. Bing, 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 bing. Thank you, darling. Okay. So okay. I really want to flatten out any curlies back here. Okay. Sorry. I'll flatten as I go. Okay. And All just right. go up as high as I want. High as you want. The higher you go, the, the fringier. more of fringe you're going to get and the more of like that cute crop look you're going to get. And do we get. want these to be somewhat skinny? Uh, I do them the same size as my thumb. So kind of the same width as we did um, the t-shirt, mm -hmm. which is about a half inch to an inch. I think mine might be a little smaller, but that's going to be all right. Okay. When you have a bigger area to cut, it, it helps with two things. It's easier to hold. And then when you do your pulling on each fringe at the end, you're left with a good size little hangy do. I love a good size hangy do. <laughs> Me too. It's oh essential. man, it's essential for a nice, uh, a nice end result. Of a your, nice uh, result of your cutting of your, of your project. <laughs> this is going south. <laughs> Get it? Uh <laughs> I know, we can't help ourselves. Oh man. So, as soon as you're done cutting all your fringes, what you want to do is grab the shirt and just kind of give them a tug. So you just want to like give them tugs and stretch them out and give them that like nice curly finish look. Okay, okay. Her fringes, Christina cut her fringes 
shorter and thinner than mine. And my fringes are a little thicker and a little longer. So you can do yours however you'd like. It just gives it a different look. Short and skinny, thick and long, whatever your preference is. And we have black camis on today, so you're not I gonna know. be able to see like all the detail unless we were to like change our cami or just take everything off. And then we might get kicked off of YouTube. So we're just gonna try these on for you guys yeah. with our black camis. And let's see how it turned let's out. See how it turned out. So this one's super easy. It's just the bottom of the shirt that you're adorning with your, your cutting. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And when you put it on, you like find all your frillies. Shake them all down. Yes, super cute. So if you wear Adorable. like a different color cami or you just want your skin showing, it's a really cute like spring, summer, yeah. like fringy look. So yeah, super cute. Love it. Super cute. So cute. And for $15.49 yes. on clearance, yes. this could be yours. And the sizes will sell fast, you guys, yes. especially the curvy sizes. So yes. do yourselves a favor. What are we doing next? We're doing our hoodie. Oh my gosh, it's hoodie time. This is my favorite. You guys, this is my favorite one because I'm a hoodie and jeans girl all year long. It's my jam. So you want to get a pullover hoodie. We don't want any zippers in our way. No zippers in our way. They're and an inconvenience. You just lay your hoodie out with the hood facing you. And what we're basically going to do is cut the hood off. And we're going to create an off the shoulder, like boat neck yeah. pullover. Kind of how I did my, my punk princess camo hoodie. And you want to smooth out the collar. And just like the way we started the tee, we're going to make our guide cuts. Guide cuts. Little ones. Little ones. Okay. So, because it's off the shoulder hoodie and the actual hood is smaller than the crew neck of a shirt, yep. our guide cuts are going to be a little further out this time. Kind of like a two finger. Two fingers. So, two finger and you just cut it right until you feel the that seam. You're through the seam. Like, yeah, you're through okay. that shoulder seam. Got it. And you do it on both sides. And if you want to always have it fall off one shoulder or the other, you can cheat it to one side or the other. So if you're like, I really oh, want my left shoulder because this is where more of my tattoos are. Okay. You can cheat it to one side or the other, but I like to do it in the middle because then I can have options. And you know, they say that a woman's best accessory is her collarbones. Yes. So when you have a little boat neck action, you yeah. show off your collarbones. Yeah, it's really pretty. Okay, so you're gonna reach inside your hoodie. Okay. Until you have your finger where your guide is. Yeah. You only want to cut the front. And we're aiming to cut literally this distance all the way across all without right. cutting into the lettering. Got it. And if you're the type of person that has a hard time following a line or you need or a guide, you can always get a piece of like chalk and you can draw a line with chalk where you want to make your cut if it's easier, but I just kind of eyeball it. Okay, so then you lift this up, already. and we're going to cut this as straight as possible. Along this seam? So, like, I'm going to go into my little notch and really just go straight all the way along the seam until you meet your other side. And then... That worked out beautifully. You have a hood. So, if your head gets cold later, you can put it back on. You can cut eye holes on the other side and wear a mask. <laughs> Is this a cute accessory? <laughs> you know, it actually is. <laughs> you, can, you can have a hood accessory. Repurpose. Anyways. Okay, so now that we made our cut, okay, we just kind of smooth our, our hand along the, uh, the we cut those that we made. Gives us a nice little rolly do. Okay, okay. And then we try it on. And Voila! What's good about cutting a little bit conservatively... Yeah, I, I took my fringe off. As to not take away yes. from the reveal. Oh. All right. So you can always cut like a little less, then try it on if you're concerned, like, oh, I only have one shot at this. Because once you cut too big, you don't really have much to go back with. Um, so I really like... Mine's too big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's perfect. No, it's, yeah, it's yeah. cute for just one shoulder. Yeah. 
It's a one shoulder. So it's a single shoulder. if you wanted to do more of a boat neck, Go then you would have cut wide. less. So instead of two fingers for your guide cut, try one. Okay. So I like the off the shoulder look. I Me think too. it's super cute. So that's how I cut mine. Custom beautiful yes. disaster clothing by Jamie. Thank you well, so much. You did an amazing oh, job. I just followed along. Yeah, but you did your own version with the hourglass yes. and your fringe was different than mine. So yes. as you guys can see, the options are like super fun and all of this stuff is on clearance right now. So get it before it sells out. This design is going, going, gone. Yes. But so we have something in store. Probably something but happening. If you love the original Perfectly Imperfect design, yes. do not last sleep chance. on this. It's your last chance. It so is your last chance. Get it. Thanks for joining us, yes. you guys. We hope that you don't ruin too many pieces of clothing. Maybe practice on, I don't know, some <laughs> other brand. Yeah, or an old t-shirt. Practice on an old t-shirt yeah. or something practice before. Practice on yeah. like, your husband's stuff. He won't mind. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so thank you for joining us yes. today. And don't forget to subscribe oh, yeah. to our YouTube channel. And hit channel. the little bell. I'm going to make a little graphic or Ding. something. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Yes. And if you're on our email list, you've already got this in your email. And comment down below and tag us and post your pictures if you yes. tried this and it worked out wonderfully or we do love a good fail. Yes. So. And if you have any questions or like how to's of other cutting, I'd be glad to help you out. So just okay. answer the comment or uh, ask your questions in the comments below yes. and I will do my best to get back to you and maybe we'll do another version of our cutting if we have a lot of requests. So. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you guys so yes. much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.